During this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Advanced Find within Microsoft CRM. Advanced Find is a powerful tool enabling you to create your own views, share those views with others, and also allows you to write some reports. The view I'm going to create is a list of contacts based on accounts that have a relation type set as customer. So in order to do that, I'm going to close this particular account, come over to the contacts area, always start in the area that you want to create the advanced find from. There we have our view, so we'll click on advanced find, then opens up the advanced find filtering screens. So within the filter, if it's not already selected, click on show details to bring up what the filter currently is. So at the moment we're looking at where an owner equals the current user and the status of the contact is active. I'm going to want to look at all contacts, so I'm just going to delete this row. I can continue to filter on contact here if I wish to, but what I'm going to do is skip all the fields on contact and come down to the related records on the contact so I can look back at the parent customer. So there, if I select parent customer account, the screen will now split in two. Anything above the blue line will be filtering based on the contact information. Anything below the blue line will be filtering based on what's in the parent customer. So here we now have the fields of the parent customer record and within here we should have one called relationship type. There we go. So if I select relationship type, I can come across to equals. I have various filters to apply in there, but equals is fine. Cross over to the ellipses, select that and it brings up the pick list for the uh, filter. I'm going to choose just customer. Click on OK and there we go. So if I select find down in the bottom right here, it then brings back what my view will look like. So there's a view of all the contacts with that particular customer. Now I might wish to add on additional columns onto this view or sort the columns around, maybe take out the email and perhaps add on address. So to do that, I just need to come back to the query, up to Edit Columns. So I'm going to highlight email and remove email. The full name column is quite large, so if I just double click on that, I can downsize that from 300 to 200. And now I'm just going to add columns and then bring in the address details, so street, want those, city, county, and also postcode. Click OK there. It adds those columns in. It adds them in an alphabetical order, so you might wish to resort. So I can just simply move city now by it's already selected. It has the green box around the column. I just need to use the arrows to move it along a little, same with county. Okay, so that's my columns ready, we just need to click on OK there. Click on Find again, the view then comes back. So I now have my address details on and I'm happy with that view. At this point in time I could export to Excel, I could merge to Word, I could create a quick campaign if I wish to, but for now I'm just going to come back to Query. I now wish to save this query because I want to use this again and it will then appear on the filters on my contact views. Generally with saving queries I tend to put the area first so they're easy to find so give it a name You can add more of a description in here if you wish to. Click on OK. So that's now saved that as a view that I can see within my system. I can also share this view with others if I wish to. So come on to Saved Views. There's my saved view. I just need to highlight the particular view that I want you to share. Come into More Actions and Sharing. I can then add a user or a team. In this instance, I'm going to share with Chris. I can then decide how I wish to share that. Read will just give him the rights to see the view. Write, he'll be able to change it and so on. 
click on OK, so that's view now shared out. I can just close my advanced find there. Now all I need to do is come away from the accounts, sorry, away from the contacts, back into contacts. It will then refresh the contacts area. And now my view is available permanently within the contacts area. If I wish to change this view again, I can just go back into Advanced Find and continue to edit the view. So that's Advanced Finds within Microsoft CRM.